Now well, back to uh, Murphy's. Actually, I forgot to mention I um, I contacted uh, my local MP because I had a couple of issues. One with the Australian Tax Office, uh, their customer services outsource, and the people who they've outsourced it to who don't know anything about the ATO system and couldn't help me filling in my tax return. So they're totally useless. So I I, uh, I rang them up also about the uh, the restriction to. Uh, travel overseas, why do Australians, why are we trapped in this country whereas New Zealanders can fly out to another country if they wish. Uh, it's not right. But anyway, I rang them up and got uh, a really nice lady answered the phone and listened to all my concerns and was very understanding and she was actually, I was quite impressed that she, uh, she seemed to take in the, the points I was making. And, uh, and told me there actually was an email address for Warren Inch. Funnily enough, it didn't seem to be on his site, but she gave it to me anyway, and I uh, confirmed it with her. So I sent an email off of what, what I'd said to her, to uh, Warren Inch, over a week or so ago, about, yeah, about, about 11 days ago, something like that. Still haven't heard a word back. I don't know how long you can expect it. An MP to take to reply to you but uh, I was very impressed with the girl in the office but uh, now it seems like it's uh, I might be in the too hard basket with the actual uh, MP in question so we'll see but at least I tried doing it at least I tried contacting them and it made me feel better anyway but, uh, and it was worth the phone call as it turned out so you know people up here got plenty of time to chat but it's good that way uh, you never feel rushed on the phone, so it's good. Mind you, I had the same thing with the Combank when I was going for the, the loan. Uh, the, the girl was very nice and she was on the phone for two hours and she was in Melbourne, so there you go. I'm waiting for the bus to go home. Yeah, just over there is Dan Murphy's. And I was hoping to buy some uh, champers, but I couldn't find it uh, on the shelves, the one that was advertised. I had a... Uh, a members discount of about five bucks did bring it down to about forty dollars uh, but there was absolutely no sign it was just chaos in there it was just way too crowded um, yeah just not pleasant I didn't expect it to be so I just ended up getting a couple of types of beer because I've, I've hardly had any beer in the house for ages so it'd just be nice to have something nice and cold and frothy because um, the weather's very conducive to it GNTs are okay, but I get a bit sick of them, so I've got a, I've got another supply of gin. But um, you know, I don't want to drink it all the time. It gets a little little boring, so it'd be nice to mix it about with some beer or something. Hoping for champers, but uh, no go, no luck, unfortunately. Oh, I might end up buying something at Liquorland. We'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, a lot of people out and about at the moment. Very. I got good news. I don't have to be tied up with something. Yes, that tomorrow I would normally was going to be tied up with which is good and uh, I'll be feeling okay over Christmas I think so that's good so I'll hopefully be at least enjoy my turkey got a bit got all the veggies or most of the, well as many as I could find anyway and I'm going to try to make some stuffing so see how we go with that um, but uh, yeah just uh, keep soldiering through and see what uh, happens but uh, going to get all this garbage out of the way so tomorrow I can have a bit more of a relaxing day so see how it goes. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll meet up with uh, Lynette today. She always seems to be busy with something to do. Taking a kid out to some park again today. Uh, like I said, the weather's pretty bad up here at the moment. Even the, um, I was speaking to a nurse, actually a medical appointment earlier today. I was speaking to a nurse and she said she was, she had a do on yesterday and uh, in the afternoon and went, as soon as she went to it, she was just covered in sweat. So, it's that sort of weather. It's really draining. So uh, that might be a bus coming up there, hopefully. Oh, I can only hope. But uh, yeah, at least they're aircon, thank God. Well, I'm whipping out today. I've changed my tack just because the weather's so damn hot. It's uh, 32 degrees. It's around nine o'clock. Uh, a little bit about 9:30, and um, I'm going to take the bus into the city. I'm just sick of being a sweaty mass. So uh, yeah, I'm whipping out. I'll get myself a, uh, a daily ticket, so what I might do is go back into the city, uh, the Savo, and get some, uh, have a Guinness. 
So we'll just see. But I've got to go to the supermarket. I've got also got to go to Kmart because I need to get a um, a coffee grinder because I stupidly bought um, uh, beans rather than the already uh, ground coffee last time I went to the supermarket. So I think, well, what the hell? I might as well try some fresh coffee. See how it works. I mean, I've heard that those coffee grinders don't last very long, but uh, it doesn't matter. So this is the stop just where the school is. Uh, there's only about, it's only two stops into the main terminal and then one more to go right across to Can Central. So I'll do that. I haven't actually done that before, so it'll be a new experience. They moved the, um, the bus stop because there was too much violence where, where it originally was, which is where I walked past. You've seen it on my videos many times with all the uh, graffiti. That's where the actual um, bus uh, stop used to be, just before the main entrance to the uh, to Can Central. But uh, like I said, they had to move it because they just they had too many violent incidents around there. So they've switched it to this other location. I don't know if it's any better, as far as that's concerned. I never go there usually. It's just today. It's uh, it'll take me directly to Kmart, and I'll, I'll walk back from there. But I don't want to walk. Yeah, just uh, just uh, just take me basically. I'll, I'll be able to enter the main building with uh, about half a block's walk, so uh, that'll make life a lot easier. It's just any t any length of time with this sort of weather just drains you. So it's just really really hot and humid. And this is exactly the reason I avoided it last year and going to Vietnam it was a smart move. Although little did I know the pollution would be so bad in Saigon. Uh, it was really bad in winter. I don't know if it's as bad this year. I've been checking it using a uh, bus app. Jeez, a lot of noise. Uh, using a bus app that I've got for uh, Saigon. So I keep checking what the weather's like there. Uh, what I'll do in future is just go to District 7. So I've got a few options available. If I sell my place, I don't have to actually buy a place straight away. I could actually it could be a good opportunity just to go overseas because uh, by then they're not paying rent so go a couple of months in Asia that could work out rather well before actually buying a place so I've got a few few options uh, financially that wouldn't be a bad one my major headache is actually I bought a couple a piece of furniture the sideboard I quite like it it's an Indonesian Balinese sideboard it cost me 300 bucks I really like it. it's very solid but uh, it won't fit in the minimum size containers spaces. I've checked out what they cost and there's, there's, there's one that's going for $45. It's only it's one meter square but it's good for basic stuff if you want to store like my computer for instance. It may be better I may be better off just selling the, the furniture before I actually uh, need to get out and put stuff in storage. I don't know. Whew, nice to be in the uh, mall air conditioned comfort back out in the real world. Um, had a problem, excuse me, had a problem with scanning again. I, I bought the grinder, found it okay, it had plenty of stock, so I've got my, um, my bean grinder, my like, coffee bean grinder uh, bought, 30 bucks. Um, but again, there was problems scanning it, so I had it with the frozen turkey, had a scanning issue, and another one with uh, purchasing that today, they had to the first girl couldn't scan it on her machine, had to change the machines and finally got up to work. So the scanning technology's got a, got a few hairs on it, I reckon. Hardly perfect. I'm going to check out uh, First Choice Bottle Shop, which I've never been to before, but they do have cheaper grog listed online compared to what they're selling, say, in liquor land. So it's probably worth checking out. They're just to the left. In this street, Whew. it's an effort even to walk half a, half a block at the moment. Uh, another thing I know is that the shopping malls are a lot of people carrying kids. It's like, like it, it's infant carrying day. <laughs> Amazing. I wonder if they're just there to get out of the heat. Well, I mean, obviously there'd be a fair few genuine shoppers this time of year, but you still never know. Anyway, the bottle shop should be just over there to the left. So, 
Oh, that one looks nice, thank God. And there's a bit of shade, so that's good. Because it's bloody hot. I sort of said to the bus driver, I felt like a bit of a wimp. But he certainly didn't think there was any problems with me getting on the bus. He thought it was sensible. So, yeah, I think it is too. But, uh, yeah, if you've stressed out people, this is the day before, so it's the 23rd, so it's actually just before Christmas Eve. I imagine there'd be a lot of people stressing out, getting last minute shopping done. I've got a fair bit of mine done. I've got a couple of things to pick up at uh, Woolworths. And I've got a second bite of the apple later today because I've, I've got a daily ticket. So that's good. So this is the bottle shop just up here. And they've got a sign saying around the corner of the, is where the entrance is. So it's a bar and where the bottle shop's to the side, I think so. Better find out what I'm looking for. I'm gonna get some champers. What the hell? I'll try a different style of a different make than what I've had in the past. Charles Charles the Casanon. Casano, sorry. Charles the Casano uh, Brute Champagne. Genuine champagne, I think. So it's 38 bucks, which isn't bad, about 40 bucks a liquor lean. Okay, well that was my first uh, experience with that outlet. And um, I've got to say, it's very spacious. It's almost the same size as Murphy's. May well be the same size, a lot quieter. Some of the prices are better, some are worse. So you just really got to mix and match. And I didn't get the, the champagne I wanted because I only had the vintage variety, which is 54 bucks as opposed to 38. And I've never tried this stuff before, so I'm certainly not going to dive in and grab the expensive one, unless I've actually tried it and like the, uh, the other variety. So I'll, they're going to get a ship. They've, they've, they had a delivery in today and they said it should be on the shelves this afternoon. So I'm going to be coming back anyway. So I'll pick it up then. It's only a couple of blocks away. So not too bad. Uh, not a crucial purchase in any case, but uh, just thought it'd be nice to have a bit of bubbly on uh, Christmas day. So, so it's not too bad. The main thing is to get that grinder thing. I'm just, I, I've been putting that off and I had plenty on the shelf so, so the coffee grinder's under the belt, that's a biggie. Just got a few things to get at Woolworths and I'll do two shops today seeing I've got the, the daily ticket, it's great. But I think in, in uh, if you're in um, the Gold Coast you get a, a chance of having a uh, an electronics ticket you just use, you, a stored value card you can use for public transport, that's a lot better. It's a bit old-fashioned this system, although I've got to say the bus system here seems to work reasonably well. So, uh, no complaints. And it's certainly cheap enough to get up to the beaches is very reasonable. I was quite surprised. So the extra zones don't really add that much to the fare. It's more expensive for short trips. Well, I survived that uh, shopping expedition. I uh, didn't get any mineral water at uh, Woolworths. They were all out. The sparkling mineral water. Not a drop to be had. So that wasn't good. Gee, it's warm out, but I can feel it. It's a bit of a breeze, which helps stuff up the audio as usual. But it's a uh, typical, it's an, a, an easterly coming off the uh, sea. So it's taken a little bit of the edge off, but gee, the, the sun's beating down hard, and there's a lot of traffic out on the roads. And like I say, there'll be people stressing out over Christmas no doubt tough time of the year for families and what have you I imagine so uh, yeah I'm just looking forward to getting back in my cool flat and I'll probably go out again today, later today see I've got a daily ticket might as well use it and uh, go and have a Guinness I'll be in a lot better shape when I'm thinking a bus ride as opposed to walking it's just getting beyond the joke this weather another uh, two months of this at least so hopefully we haven't get some rain we haven't had any rain for ages and after rain it generally cools down and we haven't had any respite at all from this heat so uh, it's not good but uh, yeah people in, um, in Melbourne will probably cop it in January and February as usual but uh, at the moment they haven't 
fairly benign weather compared to here, which is uh, full on tropical. And it can get a lot hotter, 32 is nowhere near the top. I, like I say, I was here in a, one day when I was actually still using the old electric scooter and it was 42 degrees down in Lake Street. And I needed the scooter, God, I couldn't have walked around, it would have killed me. But um, yeah, I might resurrect the old scooter if I get myself a place on the ground floor get to a, uh, a repair joint that, uh, for the tyres and hopefully it'll recharge, I don't know. I haven't charged the damn thing up for well in excess of a year, maybe 18 months now. So uh, may well not uh, be in good shape, who knows. Yeah. It was working okay when I last charged it. I could give it a try I suppose, but it's got plenty of recycling. Plenty of cycles left because I've hardly ever used the damn thing. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great.